Lesson planning is challenging because you often have to try and convey extremely abstract concepts in practical terms. This presentation provides a brief overview of how to apply the where to guidelines advocated in the Understanding by Design model. It can be used kind of like a checklist as you develop your unit and review your activities, assignments, and assessment tasks. In journalism, the five W's are generally recognized as a basic formula for telling the whole story. What's the big ideas in your unit? And why are they relevant to your students' lives today? In the real world, who cares about the concepts? And where or in what context are they even important? Can you think of an engaging start to the lesson that will hook students into a scenario? For example, for a science lesson on unit of measure, you may want to begin with a cooking lesson in which students prepare a recipe using only metric measurements. For that lesson, you may want to wear a chef's hat and refer to all the students as your sous chefs. Cooking may not appeal to everyone, but it is a way to apply the unit concepts to a real life setting. Have students been provided an opportunity to participate in sufficient experiences or practical activities to strengthen related skills in order to build on their existing knowledge base? Do the unit activities give students opportunities to rethink or look at the concepts from various perspectives? One way to encourage rethinking is to co-teach a lesson with an instructor in another discipline in order to emphasize how a concept is applied in a different setting. Is student performance being evaluated and are students being provided frequent feedback throughout the unit lessons? Formative evaluation helps to prevent them from acquiring common misconceptions. Have you attempted to tailor instruction by providing differentiated instruction or supplemental materials to address unique learner characteristics? Howard Gardner's theory of multiple intelligence is a reminder that for optimal impact, a variety of activities can be designed that appeal to all five senses. Developing linguistic skills is important, but instructors must also realize that there are students that are more artistically inclined. Assessment tasks can be designed that allow them to share their understanding of concepts using their artistic ability. Are the unit activities organized in a logical progression? Often as a result of formative evaluation results, feedback from students, instructors may decide to change the order in which concepts are being presented. If you've given a quiz and the majority of students perform below average, it may be time to rethink the organization of the unit concepts. For more in-depth information, please review the additional resources. If you have questions regarding any of the course content, don't hesitate to ask them in the Instructional Designers Discussion Forum. Chat with you soon.